In this video, I want to talk about communicating about problems. So first of all, when a problem ticket is opened, the assignment group does get notified through the tool and through email, but nobody else does. Frequently, problems are something that the service desk at least wants to hear about because, of course, the service desk is the first place that, um, that we get information. And sometimes other managers want to know what's going on as well with problems. So if you are opening up a problem, make sure that you let at least a service desk manager know um, as, and you may also want to contact the assignment group outside of this tool to make sure that they're aware of it too. However, inside the tool there are some other ways to communicate with users. I'm going to scroll down and show you that at the bottom of this ticket there are some related links. Post News is a way to send information very quickly to the knowledge base. It bypasses the editorial process. Let's see how that works. If I click on Post News, the first thing that's going to happen is it's going to tell me that I don't have a workaround yet. And so I actually can't post anything until I do. So I'm going to come on down to the workaround field. Now, just like actually, now any field in a problem ticket really should be filled out as completely and clearly in, in complete sentences, um, clear English as possible. This is a knowledge base article that anyone in the tool is going to be able to see. So I want to make sure that even someone who's not really familiar with this situation, with this, with the technology involved, can still understand uh, whether this knowledge base article applies to them or not, for instance. Now, again, I'm not going to take a lot of time to type in a workaround. Instead, I'm going to put in a little blank thing and say post news so that we can see what that looks like. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the knowledge base. I can, of course, access through the self-service, the knowledge base, and I'll go ahead and look at that. And on the knowledge base front end, I can see that here's a new news article associated with my problem ticket. And if I open it up, it's telling me my description of the problem in plain English, and here's my workaround. Okay? It also includes who posted that. You can post news multiple times from a problem ticket as long as there is some workaround listed. So you can use it to uh, post updates as new and better workarounds occur. So let's take another look at the problem ticket. I do have it in my bookmarks. And as I scroll through, a couple things I want to point out. First of all, the workaround field does clear out between each use of the ticket, just like the comments to the customer field does in the incident ticket. I can always look up whatever uh, previous workarounds happened from within the activities. I'm going to pop in another workaround. And point out that there is another link down here called Post Knowledge. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. That created a new knowledge base article. So similar to Post News, except that this new knowledge base article is going through the standard editorial process. So this knowledge base article does not immediately appear in Knowledge. I'll go ahead and show you. If I go to the public knowledge base here, or the front end for knowledge, if I search for this particular knowledge base article, I won't find it. So let's take one more look at the ticket. And the last link that I want to show you is the communicate workaround. Now, this one, again, I need a workaround. Um, this option is going to send an email to all of the users of all of the incidents associated with this problem ticket including the description field and the workaround field. Okay. And so that's a quick way, if there is a workaround for a problem that's happening right now, it's a quick way to notify all the users in, uh, associated with the incident of what's going on and what they can do to, uh, to resolve the situation. So those are the main ways to communicate through the tool, either through the knowledge base, which is one of the end goals of problem management, trying to create knowledge related to problems, and also um, to communicate to the end users in a very efficient process.